Max von Neumann here. Today, we are going to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square at lightning speed. Okay, let's roll. Note that the y was preset to equal zero. This is so that we can see where the parabola is crossing the x axis. All right, step one, divide by leading x squared coefficient. Okay, the reason that we divide by the x squared coefficient is so that this will be x squared by itself, representing a one unit by one unit square. So since there's a two in front of the x squared, we're gonna divide everything by two. Getting the x squared, by itself. This gives us x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. The next step, keep variables on the left side and move the constant to the right. The only constant on this side is an 8, so if we subtract it from both sides, you'll have all the variables on the left and the constant on the right. Note, I'm leaving a space for the completing the square process. But since I'm going to add or subtract, I have to do it to each side. So I'm leaving a space on both sides. Next step, take half of the x term coefficient, square it, and add it to both sides. The x term coefficient is a negative 6. I'm going to bring that over here, and I'm going to take my negative 6. I'm going to take half of it. We, could even, we can multiply by 1 half. And that's going to equal negative 3. I'm going to save it for factoring later. But like we said, we have to square it and add it to both sides. So I square negative 3, and I get plus 9. We're going to put the 9 in red just to show that was the new number that we added. So we add 9, but if I add 9 to one side, as usual, we have to keep the equation balanced. Okay, next step. Factor the perfect square on the left side using the saved number and then do the arithmetic, the arithmetic on the right hand side. All right, factoring this is simple if I know that negative three was there. So I know that there's gonna be an equivalent statement here, putting my minus 3 in there and squaring it. So x minus 3 times x minus 3 will just be a, this on top. And I do the arithmetic on the right hand side and I get a 1. Okay, so x minus 3, the quantity of that squared equals 1. Next step. Take the square root of both sides while putting a plus or minus in front of the square root sign on the right. The reason that we're taking the square root is to undo the square. So if I take the square root of both sides, the inside will pop out because the square 
the square root undoes the square. On the right hand side, I need a plus or minus because we know we have a quadratic and this little two up here, this exponent of two tells us that we have two solutions coming out of this. Okay, next step, we're gonna push our argument over to the right here. So we look at this and we say, what is the square root of a square? It's just gonna be what's inside, which is gonna be x minus three. equals, and then the square root of one is just one with a plus or minus in front of it. So on this side we have plus or minus one. Which leads us to the next step of solving this. But you're actually solving two problems at this point. So the next step is Isolate the x on the left hand side by adding or subtracting the constant, whereas negative 3 is the constant. So we take the minus 3, we're going to add 3 to both sides. So what I would do normally is just to keep the bookkeeping, is I would make two problems out of this. I would make it x minus 3. equals one and x minus three equals negative one. Notice there's two problems going here that we're solving for. x minus three equals positive one, x minus three equals negative one. So we're gonna add three to both sides because the last step of this is List x answers for your y equals zero. So add three to both sides. Add three, add three for this one. And we're gonna get x equals four. Now if I do the same thing, add 3, add 3 on this side, we're going to get x equals negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So we know that our x's are at four and at two when y is equal to zero. X equals four when y is equal to zero, but it also equals two when y is equal to zero. So now looking at our, our parabola up here, you can see the parabola of 2x squared minus 12x plus 16 equals zero right here. And as indicated, you can see that the parabola is crossing the x-axis at x equals two and also at x equals four. All right, that squashes that problem. I hope we accomplished getting all the necessary details in at lightning speed, or said in German, Lichtgeschwindigkeit. Every day, we work hard to reach our goal at Alien Institute to help build the scientific problem solvers of tomorrow. If you haven't done so already, strike the like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell.